What up, YouTube? Good morning. We are uh, we're awake. Happy uh, happy Wednesday. Making it through the week pretty quick here. Um, we're looking at uh, the warning. We're looking at Revenant. Um, this was another request or suggestion, I guess, uh, for Patreon. Live at Teatro. We're back at Teatro again um, in 2022. Do me a favor. If you're new here, if you're not new here, run over to uh, the warnings page. Please go like and subscribe. Please go um, go support the artist first and foremost, obviously. Uh, if you like what I do, please like, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, we're looking at Revenant. Um, haven't heard this, but um i was i was told to do it i guess let's uh let's jump right in hope you're having a wonderful start to your day we go you guys got volume yes you do
Um, wow. That's something something new. No, no a lot of power, but no drums. Um I don't know who that dude was. I, I didn't I didn't catch she introduced him. She said it really quickly and really loudly. Um but he did a great job, whoever he is. Uh that was great. I, I was trying to I mean yeah, the more the more I listen to Powell doing these these sort of emotionally charged, kind of held back songs that they're just not they're not going nuts on. That she just she she has this this crazy crazy ability to just pull something out. She's it's like you know how they say like you know some people wear their emotions on her on their sleeve. She's got the ability to to to, to wear hers through song. Um, it's it's really special. Which, which she's which she's able to like I, I I was trying to I was trying to follow along and try to find meaning in the lyrics I, I think that they're they're a bit vague on purpose I think you can sort of interpret it the way you want to that I mean that could be anything from like there's biblical references in there um, obviously with the walking on water and, and you know there and then it's it's almost like um like a message or a letter to like a like a, a past lover almost um and you know just it, it sounds like that this relationship is sort of deteriorated and it's like show me somewhere to blame show me some somewhere to aim or whatever show me someone to blame um but it's you know uh, a cruel mistress uh, uh, and then she said like a melody without a song um it's yeah it sounds like basically like and almost like this this person returned and um it sounds like they were both sort of you know blaming her or the narrator of the song for for everything and um just kind of like she's just basically like you know do the math figure it out this is kind of what happened i mean you could you could read that a variety of different ways. A lot of the, a lot of the, the, the songs that I've listened to off the Air album, they seem to be like a lot of like a lot of songs kind of geared towards uh, the struggles that Gen Z sort of faces in in navigating um, the world today, just with having the access they've been giving from like a social aspect digitally. Um, also when you go back to some of their other songs and like, you know, the, the sun being the enemy and outdoors and, you know, the, the almost sheltered in a way from having to have to figure out life strictly through other channels with that type of access. Um, but foregoing and, or missing out on potentially some other aspects of what we might, we, you know, the collective, we, um, elder generations um, might have experience with regards to what we think is a normal upbringing um, with regards to things like relationships, um, you know, dealing with people outside of your, outside of a digital aspect more um, from a, you know, at a, at a personal level. So it's just, I, I feel like there's, there's songs that are kind of geared towards that and not just relationship wise, um, economically, you know, um, as far as what's been what's been exposed as far as the division with different you know different sides on things left and right and the way that you know things are and not just here in the states but really everywhere the the the, the division in 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 everybody um a lot of the songs i've, I've noticed are kind of geared towards that uh, and i haven't even finished the air album i don't think i've i still got a few songs to go but um that's kind of what the overall take is for me is just is a lot of the, this, the songs are, um, kind of geared towards that in a way. Um, just stuff that like, that I wouldn't even think about like day to day. And then like, I read your guys' comments. I'm like, well, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I took it entirely different. So it's, and that's the cool thing about music is that you don't have to be their age to, to interpret something differently or see things differently as long as you can pick parts that relate to however your mind works, right? Um, they were great. Um, I don't know who their feature was, but he was he was great too. I, I love the background vocals uh, with both um, Danny and, and Ali. Um, the bass was cool. It was like a, um, I wouldn't call it sad, but it, it had this 
this sort of kind of dreary kind of magnetic kind of pull you in nature so i didn't pause it i just wanted to like let it play through and pal when she when she's um she's kind of she's very she's polarizing she has that it where it's just like you you kind of stop what you're doing and you're like huh this girl's got something to say um regardless of what she's doing she just she has that quality right um anyways I'm rambling now, but um, please go support the warning. Go like and subscribe. Um, if you like what I do, please like, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the on the meaning of the song. I, I took it as a as kind of an internal struggle with a with like a relationship battle, but I mean, you could take this as the return of Jesus if you wanted. I, I like there's um, there's a lot of ways you could bend that story. So um, I'm interested to see how you guys interpreted it, or if you've heard. An